Tell tell us about Tobacco Road. <clears throat> tobacco Road. Um, I was a, a uh, here. I'll wear this here. Put the thing cover back on. And, uh, oh, before we go any further, I'm gonna let our camera grab a picture of this. This is John D. in the glasses. Towards the fourth in the tie. Back on. Uh, and here. Chet Atkins and our lovely camera person. Say hello to the people in the audience there. She's going to take the album cover and show people yeah. You want to know about Tobacco Road now. Uh, there was a, excuse me, there were a bunch of tobacco roads. Uh, any place you had a tobacco industry in a town down south, they had a tobacco road because that's where the people lived who were the, the, the workers in that industry. Yeah. They just developed that way. And uh, Daron was your home. Yeah, I'm a big cigarette factory. And cigarettes. Oh, I worked in the factory. Did you really? I can tell you a story you will not believe if we have time. Whatever. Yeah. Got time? <laughs> uh, just ask me. <laughs> uh, I was on the cleanup crew in a cigarette factory, and I won't tell you which one in Durham, but we all have smoked those cigarettes. And it was somebody's job every evening out of 25 or 30 young men to take this to go around with the, they had spittoons at each one of the makers and packers, and they had cigarette tobacco in there. And it fell to one of our jobs every month to go around and empty those spittoons into a big hamper, hopper. And so I, I did my duty, and when it was awful, and uh, but when I got through, I asked the boss, what would I do with it? He says, take it upstairs, follow me up. So I pushed it upstairs, and he opened the door. That was about this high off the ground. And it opened, and he said, push it into there. And he pushed it into there. And the arm came down and started stirring, and he turned on the ultraviolet lights. And that evening before we quit the next morning, I went up and got it, and it was brand new, just as clean as a pen. And he took it downstairs and put it in the, in the, in the what do they call it? For the, the, yeah, in, in the what? Archive. No, uh, no, that's a good thing. To put it. He put it in. He put it in the, uh, the, the the belt that travels and feeds the machines. The belt that made cigarettes. Yes, man. And people at that time were smoking that stuff. Uh, it was somebody's spit. Now, now, oh yeah, everybody's spit. Everybody's spit. <laughs> and, and so uh, I was amazed, and I've told people that. Oh, you know, you know. So you wrote a song about Durham, basically. Okay, back to the song <laughs> about, about, about. Okay, yeah, you got to understand where I come from. <clears throat> well, I was delivering uh, uh, telegrams when I was 15. And so one night they gave me a handful of money orders to go down to a section of town called Marvin's Alley. And Marvin's Alley was the tobacco road for Durham. And factories there, and no, just houses. houses. Old rundown Victorian white clap workhouse workers. workers. Yeah. And there was not a light on in the whole series of houses, and there were about seven or eight houses and a Money road, no cars, no nothing. But each light had a each each porch lamp had a light in it of different colors. I didn't know what that meant. I was on a bicycle with a flashlight and a handful of money orders, man. So I knock on the door of the first house, and the lights come on inside, and it was full of people, quiet, because they were not supposed to be that. Free with their, with their, uh, with their social uh, Saturday nights or whatever it was, and but everybody just sat there on the couches. You know, I don't know what they were doing, but they just kind of watched me <laughs> and smiled and nodded and everything. And when the guy got through with the, with the business at the front door, I left and he turned the lights off and I went to the next house. And that was Tobacco Road. You were delivering. I was delivering money orders that I could be knocked in the head of it and somebody scribbled on it and, and got the money. But anyhow, that was that was uh, that was the element of where the working class was in, at, at the cigarette plants at that time. It's all changed now. Well, you know the song that you wrote 
Tobacco Road, which now, is a classic. I know what you're going to ask me. It was an autobiographical. Now, my mother and daddy, my mother didn't die at childbirth. My daddy didn't get drunk. I never saw him drink a drop of that. He smoked cigarettes and died as a result of it. I never heard a dirty joke or a curse word from my father. And he was very, very quiet. I'd come home at night after work, and he and mother would be sitting in the dark, having watched the sunset go down. And I said, what are y'all doing in here? He said, you'll know someday. And uh, watching the sun. Yeah, watching the sun go down. So, uh, this ties in with another song. Am I talking too long? No. If I am, just go to the bathroom.